welcome you to our Auckland, New Zealand Mark Bang. Mark Bang. Mark Bang. Bang, bang, bang. As you guys all know, New Zealand is known for what, babe? For their beautiful food, yeah. especially the bakery. Yes. And you guys know that we love donuts. Absolutely. Duncan Donuts. <laughs> but most importantly, guys, we had to do the smug bun, especially for our, all our family that don't have bakeries. I mean, hey, we've got pies, we've got donuts, Afghans. Oh yeah, the Afghans. We've been trying Afghans for the last two days. The second day we've been mm. here, we're only here for four days. And we found one the day before, it was like, mm, it's okay. it's okay. But these ones look beautiful. I'll just quickly show, really quickly, look. Yum. Yes, yes. And guys, just to let you know if this is favorite, the fresh cream donuts. Mm. Beautiful. Not to forget the squiggles, the Cadbury squiggles. And also, Melopox. There's the Miller Pops. So we're trying a lot of New Zealand sweets. Yep. Everything is made and um, produced here in New Zealand. Uh -huh. That we love to eat. So, and the other cookie was? Toffee Pops. Which is Toffee Pops? Toffee Pops are uh, like this one. So oh. it's like a double choc, caramel, chewy biscuit base. Beautiful. And then not to forget, we need to wash it down. So we have some. Fresher! Yep, fresher! Fresh up our mouths for what else we're putting in there. Good to know, but oh. that's a different story. <laughs> but guys, fresh up, just to let you guys know from Australia, because I'm born in Australia. Aussie, Aussie. Yeah, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie! Go, go, go! But I was really intrigued because it says, I'm not going to see it on top of it. It says apple and orange. I was like, apple and orange? Because it's normally what in Australia? Orange and mango! So, different flavours, really, really nice, but Bees has got... I have the Harvest Red Apple. So yeah. it's probably a straight up sweet as apple juice. Sweet as! That is just going to make the sugar levels go high, high like a rocket. <laughs> While we're doing this, guys, we're going to talk about our experience here in New Zealand. We've met, why we're here, and what we've been up to, okay guys? If you haven't seen the other videos, go have a look at them. Polly tube, that's all I'm gonna say, but okay. let's get started, please! Oh, absolutely. Hey, 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 look. Oh, true. Yes, so far for today, mommy. Okay, so guys, one of my favorite pies that took me back to childhood is a smoked fish pie that you used to be able to get at Odahu Bus Depot if you Jack school. Smoked fish, we saw a bakery and I said to Beast, Beast, there's smoked fish. Because you don't have it there. No, you don't. Yeah. So it's literally smoked fish, a creamy smoked fish pie. There's some beautiful pastry there, and I just can't wait to hold into it. So, uh, children are calling from Australia. Say hello. Hey guys, Terrell just liked my video. Huh? Terrell just liked my video. Ah. <laughs> oh, are you okay? No, I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> Terrell. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, wow. Did he subscribe to you? Oh. Very good. So, Terrell, put a link there because it comes too far. You guys are too far. I uh, like Sapphire's TikTok. Oh my gosh. And she's such a fan of the Cougar Boys. Please go subscribe to them. Let them know. Uh, Tinania family set you up. Is that right? Smoked fish pie. The smoked fish pie. Mm -hmm. That's the filling there. And if you can see it, and we're gonna taste it and react it. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. That's beautiful. Did it taste like when you were a kid? Yeah. But when I was a kid, there was no veggies. Mm. But this is beautiful. <laughs> mm -hmm. You guys are probably wondering where we are. We're in a, an apartment as well, so the background's different from the Tinani headquarters. Wow. Mm -hmm. The pastry is so flaky. I'm really excited to have this because I love bakery food. Yeah. Mmm. And you know, because we're in the city at the moment, it's just so hard to find. Well, I'm not. I won't say not decent. There are decent bakeries here, but they're just really expensive. Like pies, four to five bucks, which is pretty much what we pay back home. But you had a normal bakery, which we found down the road in Mount Roskill. Wow. Mm. Such a selection and a budget. Far out. Mm -hmm. Far out. 
Like it. Love it. Mm-hmm. And the chips are also twisties? Yeah, they're twisties. New Zealand twisties. Mm-hmm. So, back mm. in Aussie, you know how we get this, the party packs? So the party packs of twisties and rations. We're only like three bucks. <laughs> so we just thought, again, getting back to that word, just back. Mm. Beautiful. I'm going to try my drink. Mm-hmm. That's the apple and orange. Mm-hmm. Does it have a fizz? No, there's no fizz to it, but... Is it flat? Yes. Yeah. It's like cordial. Oh. But apple and orange, I think I taste more orange. Nice. See, that's fresh up. Fresh mm-hmm. up. So, I'm going to cut into this part, waiting for bees. Oh, sorry. To, no, <laughs> waiting for bees to see what... Because we actually don't know what's in this part. That looks like... Oh! We got butter chicken! Oh, I okay. forgot guys! Can you imagine that butter mm. chicken in mm. a freaking pie, man? Wow! That's amazing, eh? Absolutely. Can't believe it, butter chicken. And we had the best butter chicken la, a few days ago, when mm-hmm. we first arrived. Mm-hmm. Oh, so creamy, look at that, mm. oozing out. Okay, let's try the filling first. Very nice. Favoured, sis? Cuz? If you're out there, I hope you do a mukbang on what you're eating in New Zealand because every time I watch Favourites, she just makes me, all of a sudden, I've got nothing in my mouth, but all of a sudden I'm like, <laughs> because she just makes me want to eat more. Hey. Got to try it, babe. Try it. Sorry. Sorry, Favourites, but. Okay. Got to wash the palate. Oh, it's so creamy. I think there's a tub, a whole tub of butter in there, but. <laughs> when they say that uh, Kiwi food is rich and creamy and better than Aussie food where we live, hell yeah, man. Oh, that's really nice. <sighs> it's like a really nice cloudy mm. apple, but juice. And it's not too sweet, which is really nice. Well, guys, we hoed that fish pie down. We did. Well, crazy. You hoed it down. Hoed. The butter chicken. Oh, it tastes like coconut. It is. It is. It's got a bit of a coconut yeah. base. A little bit sweet. Hey. Mm, I love it. A bit of sweetness, but it's exactly like butter chicken that's served with rice. It's got chunky. Mm. I think they've used thigh. Oh. Five fillets in it. But I'm so happy. Wow. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm really happy. Mm. You can mm. have mine too. Guys, if you don't know, if you've just watched our video now, we have just come out of two days of polytube funnel and it's been the best ever. Just to surround yourself amongst hyped polys. Mm. Far out, guys. If you're ever thinking of doing this as a family like we are, or as a couple, or even solo, just to let you know, there are so many YouTubers out there. Don't that will help. Mm-hmm. Don't ever let your culture mm. or your upbringing, which is a very big topic in our in our discussions with Polytube. Hold Never let back. it hold you back on trying to reach your dreams. There is nothing wrong with thinking bigger and better. YouTube is just another platform. If you're passionate about being in front of a camera, talking about what you excel in, or even just if you like food, which is what we're doing today. It's nice easy. Well. We eat. I, I, this is the way I see it. To give you a sort of brief on it, if you want to start and you don't know where to start, we eat every day. Mm-hmm. Put your phone in front of you mm-hmm. and just say whatever. Yeah. What you're passionate about. What I really enjoyed about today, there were massive YouTubers that have yeah. like 300k, um, a million subscribers, a thousand subscribers, two subscribers, 30 subscribers, mm-hmm. but we all made sure that everyone was comfortable. They made us feel comfortable, we made them feel comfortable, yeah. and we just mixed and mingled oh, together, eh? Loved it. So loved much it. passion from Polynesians all over the world, no. far and beyond, mm. and also Kiwis, really. Yeah. Absolutely. And you know what, actually, before I start, I just want to say thank you to my husband for making this trip happen, because I was a bit, I didn't mind. If we didn't come, we didn't come. If we couldn't afford it, 
then that's all good. But Deuce is like, no, we are going because he's so determined and he is very passionate about vlogging and YouTube. So thank you, darling. No worries. Very nice. And I'm really glad to be here in Auckland, New Zealand. And this is our first one. This is the second year of Polytube Funnel. Mm -hmm. And you've probably seen it in other videos where, you know, we, we plug it, hashtag Polytube. Mm -hmm. It's not normal for us to do this. Yeah. It is now because a lot of people are mm -hmm. doing it. And, you know, back six years ago where they were saying there was only probably three, four people no. that were doing it. Exactly. And they got a lot of the backlash. But I think now there's um, a lot of channels. We support each other. For instance, we're all having a smoke break this morning. One of the girls that were there. Yelled out to everyone. There's a new family out on Instagram and YouTube. Straight away, every single channel clicked on it. Ding, 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 ding subscribe. And you know, just support mm. and love mm. for our people to do well mm -hmm. and be successful. Yeah. And uh, just to have a platform for our culture, eh? Mm. Showcase what we can do. Yeah. Not only in the Western lifestyle, but also uh, how we've implemented our culture. Mm -hmm. Most importantly, Made some really nice friends, eh? Oh, yeah. There's one thing being keyboard warriors and typing away and replying, oh my God, your video's the bomb, etc., etc. Yeah. But just to see them. Yeah. And talk to them and hug them and embrace them. And we're going to share a few testimonies of theirs um, later on in our clips. So, guys, if you're new to our channel, enjoying our mukbang, guys, you're going to enjoy. I hope that, hopefully, you guys enjoy our other content that we do record. So. I think the biggest thing for us too was actually touching mm. and feeling them. And people were like, oh my God, miss me. Oh my God, do you have the your family? And we were the same with them, like Genevieve, um, Life of Cardi B. We went out and um, had a mukbang with them. Go check out her channel too. Uh -huh. And collaborations together. There's also the Sus fans. Oh. We love you guys. Absolutely love you guys. Faith Vids. Oh. Sister, as we said before, you're the auntie. Of Polytube. Eh? Exactly. What are the four beautiful girls that we met? The sisters? Um, four sisters. Oh. We'll put everyone's links down the bottom yeah. so you can go and yeah. subscribe. There's so many. I think the change that they made this year was add other influences Absolutely. from YouTube, mm. from Instagram, and Facebook, and Twitter, and Snapchat. Whoever is on the platform, Islander. they introduced them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Q. Yeah. yeah. So, big or small, doesn't matter. We're yeah. all here to help out each other. Yeah. Shout out to the Fridge Prince. He was one of my favorites. Yeah, funny, Fridge Prince. Funny dude, mate. Who was our other guy? Uh, Johnny. Mm, Johnny. Johnny was there. Tyrell. Um, what's Ripples? What's his name? River. River. You're a man, River. Yeah. Hello, Harriet. Like we said earlier, we thank you so much for making this a reality. Mm. We know that trying to put something together always takes a lot of time. But you know what? Heart goes out to the committee that did it pr from pretty much scratch and fundraise for this. So, mm. thank you so much for putting all efforts and heart into oh, yeah. this because at the end of the day, these are memories that we're always going to reflect back to. Definitely. I can't wait for next year. We're hoping it's in Australia. All right, third pie. Mm -hmm. I'm really full. We'll probably just take bites and bites from mm -hmm. work. I think I'll eat this one because I got a pause on the last pie. Oh, stop it. Stop it right mm -hmm. now. Yep. Yep, it is, yep. Bacon and egg pie. Bacon and egg pie. The, you know, the, the pastry. It is so... <laughs> You're going crazy because you love egg. I do. But the pastry is so light flaky, and flaky. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Really yummy. Um, the egg. And that bacon, and just the right amount. I don't know how many punches the sauce. Oh. It's just beautiful. Mmm. Do you know how they go? Oh my gosh. She or here's a snack. Yeah. This is definitely our snack. Woo! Can't do it, babe. I know my bung is out there. You're meant to finish all your food, but <clears throat> I don't know how they do it. I'm not even gonna try to be a my bung. They leave that to fate vids. Mm -hmm. But we're just here to taste the food. To make sure, you know, that we put on 10 kilos when we go home. <laughs> That's an Afghan. I'm going to try that while Biz is eating mm. her uh, foie mort. Mm. Her foie mort. <sighs> now, I believe Afghans has got cornflakes mm -hmm. or wheat pix in it. Mm -hmm. That sounds a lot better than the last one. 
Is it? Or is it the same? Mm -hmm. Biscuit, it shouldn't be hard. It's got to be flaky and it's got to be crumbly. Yeah, it is. Can't be too crumbly, otherwise it won't hold shade. It's but beautiful. I love it. Mm -hmm. It's I like, Afghan. I like it when I get into the middle. You know, you've got the mm. chocolate. But it's not an Afghan if it doesn't have that chocolate dollop in the middle with the walnuts. Can't forget the nuts now. That's beautiful. Mm hmm Yeah, really like it. Mm. I tried the mellow puffs. Mm hmm They've got marshmallow inside of it. It's really, really nice. Much, yeah. So I'm going to try... Squiggles! Is it squiggles? Yeah, squiggles. So you see all that yellow stuff? It's like a honeycomb. Yeah. If you don't know honeycomb, just think of crunchy. It's chewy, eh? Beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's got a lot of honeycomb inside it too, guys. Mm -hmm. Really yum. Mm. Just also, definitely want to shout out to the committee. Oh. Hey, it's Tara. Mm. It's me as well. It's us, Sam's. Great job. Mm. But, girl! Hello, Miss Harriet! No, it's awesome to sit down with her. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out, guys. She is really humble girl, eh babe? She is. To sit down with someone that's organised something like that and see no stress come out of her? No. I think she, she keeps everyone calm. Yeah, she does, eh? Yeah. I think actually the whole committee, I think them working together just goes to show that sometimes we can overreact or we can, you know, things just slowly fall into place. But even more smoother when you're working with people on the same, on the same mm. mindset, the same way. Definitely. With the ripples. And I, like, those OGs or those who have been watching our videos from the beginning, mm -hmm. which is about 12 months, we love to watch back to our first video. I honestly was like this. Hi oh, guys, my name's Duva, how are you? You're coming for a us, bro. And then I was like, hey, what's good? We're not our family. <laughs> it's a difference and it's good to see people mm. grow. Yeah. But I think most of all, you see my face all the time. Mm. And I'm so happy when my wife gets on the video and starts recording. And I think... This has really inspired her and changed her mind from what I've been doing mm -hmm. and finding the passion mm -hmm. and the drive to do it, which, mm -hmm. is, which is cool. Can you elaborate on that, Beast? Yeah, sure. I think my problem was it was when I felt like her. But after meeting so many people today that have related to <laughs> related to <laughs> related to <laughs> <laughs> okay, where the buckle were first? We'll ship down. Mm. You right? <laughs> so just getting back to what I was saying, after meeting so many of our PolyChip family today and yesterday, everyone called me Miss Bees. Love your Facebook, love your YouTube, love your sit downs and it kind of really opened my eyes. Sometimes when you think you're doing something and you go to replay it and you think to yourself, I don't second guess myself. You're yourself worst critic or each other, especially when you're a family. So. I always sit there thinking to myself, who's this going to relate to? Mm. Who's this going to target? But it actually has really inspired me to not be so shy. Just really positive feedback in regards to, do you know what? This is your lifestyle. Don't be shy to document it because it could touch the lives of others. <clears throat> and you know what? Bees is so right. I think Bees has finally realized the purpose of somebody engaging with her. Mm. Mm. You know, and there's always... <coughs> that someone that's out there that's you know that's always going to relate to mm. you and your subjects yeah and the way that you live mm -hmm. so as Brenda said before we're our worst critics mm -hmm. like who's going to watch this who's mm -hmm. going to you know but I look fat oh my yeah. god I look ugly oh yeah. my gosh I look multicolored you know sh shit like that I think because of social media it does that to you because mm -hmm. you see the beautiful side of everyone right I, I think I've learned along the way but everyone has their own timing mm -hmm. and I've always said on my videos don't care about the way you look. Mm. You know what I mean? What what you're wearing and stuff like that. Not an extent like you you know what I mean, yeah? Like you would never just jump out of bed and do a vlog. No. Oh gosh, that's, that's what I mean. Not caring. Yeah. <laughs> don't constantly feel like you're You have to look amazing. Yeah, you have to look on point all the time, have your lashes on all the time. Mm. But shit like that. Mm. We wanna see you in yeah. the role. Yeah. But also see you on the beautiful mm. side as well. Mm. It was really inspiring to see people call me speed, Miss B, Miss B, Miss B. I know. And you know, people we don't know. I know. And I think it's real touching mm. that they're like, oh, uh, you're so inspiring to us. Tina and your family, we love you, you motivate us. And we're like, the hell did you even know that, man? Thank you know? You so much. You relate to us because you're watching our video now. Yeah, yeah. And the same way that you feel is the way we feel. 
if we're going to watch your video exactly. or if we watch another polytubers. Yeah. We are so inspired by other people. And that's, that's the amazing thing about it. And that's, a, I think, the biggest change that we learned mm -hmm. from, um, from Polytube was support each other. Yeah. Fully support each yeah. other. I've just got this question for Dubes. With all the information overload that we have taken from influencers, YouTube vloggers, what are a few pointers that you can take away to make your vlogging and your YouTube journey better? I think for... <clears throat> For me, I'm, I'm a confident person, and that's happened over experiences and time. Mm. So I don't care the way I look, I look on YouTube. I'm an advocate for supporting others. We always we shout out family, mate. We shout out everyone. I want to support people more mm -hmm. and reach out to them right. more. Mm. So not just a shout out, because we're helping people every single day mm. and share our experience and ask them what we can do to help them. Right. Not knowing. To not knowing throughout the whole 12 months, am I doing this right? Am I editing it right? Is the lighting right? Mm. Is mm. our footage right? Mm. Is my clothing right? Mm. Down to the little nitty gritty thing, is my editor okay? Is it too long, mm. too short? Mm -hmm. All that stuff. Do people like our intro? Do people like the way we talk? Or, mm. you know, just all the stuff that go through your head mm -hmm. as you're going through this journey. This meeting has just confirmed everything yeah. we're doing right. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You know why? Because I've learned you've got to be yourself. Exactly. There's no right way or wrong way. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we remember we're still going to be here for a month. month. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, guys. So while Dave's hoeing into that, look, he's hoeing. Oh my god. Fresh cream or mocky? Or both? It's fresh. Okay. You can tell by the way it's curdling. But the bread. Like a sweet bread? Yeah. Okay. So, as you guys know, we're two totally different characters in our family. Duva's a little bit more serious. I like to joke. Duva also likes the theoretic side of it, where I'm more fantasy. I guess that's what makes us us, is that, can you imagine if we were talking about the same topics, it'll only sound like we're trying to overpower each other. We're not about that. We're about just bringing everyone's light out individually, letting his light shine. Diamond and sapphires and nans, you know? So everyone brings something different to the table. Pretty much like when this was full, you know when it was full? Now it's nearly empty. <laughs> I learnt, because I'm a biggie girl, and this was a biggie. Mm. This was a biggie. Us island girls have this mentality that we've got to look like a certain person. We've got to sound like a certain person behind the camera. And a lot of us seem to be very, very scared about the way we look. So number one, self-image was huge. Do you know what guys, all I can say is, love yourself. Because if you can't love yourself, then what are you doing trying to motivate someone that does? And from that love, if you can really appreciate your curves and your big bust, and your massive thighs, it's you. Feel beautiful within your skin because people can feel it and people can hear it. That yeah. was number one, that was huge. It's so important to be yourself and talk about something that engages your niche. Okay, so what I mean by that is, you know how we were talking this morning and you mm -hmm. were saying, you know, People just want to know about what you do and what you're good at. If you're a bit confused, and I know we were in the beginning, you know, mm. we were a bit confused because we were we just like to vlog about everything. I think uh, we're lifestyle vloggers, so we like to vlog about our lifestyle and we everything. Have so much going on, like my bum. Yeah, yeah. But we're hairdressers. Yeah. At the end of the day, we're not much funners. No. You've got people that do this, like um, Faye Faye Vids, Life of Cardi B. This is what they do. I guess, in other words, what I'm so trying to say. Yeah is um, you're going to suck at a few things. Hey, there's no, no reason for not trying. No, you're going to suck at a few things, but you're going to be friggin' fantastic at others. Mm. But I've gone away with this mentality. Bees, get involved. Get involved. Even if it's just five or ten minutes a day. There's days where Duva does it on his own. You know, all easy to pick up the camera and talk into it, but... There's a lot of that goes behind the scenes. I'd love to maybe take some time out and show me how to edit. But again, I know it's not my thing. It's his niche. And that's what he does. And we appreciate it. Because from that editing, it then goes up in front of you. And that's what you guys like to see. That's something to think about. Mm. But for our islanders and Kiwis, we hope that we have inspired you to pick up the camera. Because what do we say, guys? 
Solar Sunga, pick up the camera. Guys, as you know, we've pretty much polished it off. Mm -hmm. And at the moment, we're feeling like sloth. Yeah. So what we're going to do is wash it down a little bit more. And add a bit of fume in there. <sighs> and... <laughs> more hair. More hair. But tonight, it's going to get lit. Everyone's going to have a dance, have a little bit of a drink. <laughs> <laughs> we love you.